Hey there, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are covering the AP Top 25, and we definitely have some shakeups in the rankings. Looking at the others receiving votes, North Carolina State, Texas, UTSA, Troy, uh, Illinois ends up falling out uh, of this list as well. Uh, Minnesota, seven receiving votes there after the win against Northwestern. Uh, number 25 here, we have Oregon State, who pick up uh, a big win against Cal. You know, a good 38 to 10 victory there. Now, jumping up a little bit higher, uh, we see Oklahoma State, Coastal Carolina, Cincinnati, and Tulane. Um, you know, overall here, you look at Tulane, uh, you know, tough loss to UCF. UCF's a, another program that uh, consistently puts out good product. Uh, Oklahoma State definitely getting that big win against Iowa State in that close contested matchup. Uh, you know, only one by six. Coastal Carolina once again picks up the victory against Southern Miss and then Cincinnati. Uh, they're just finding ways to win here in another contested matchup here. So a lot of these games, uh, you know, one score affairs. Now, moving up to the next grouping here, we see Florida State jump up five spots, K State four spots, Notre Dame two spots. Now, let's just kind of hang on this group a little bit. You know, Mike Norvell has done a great job at Florida State. They absolutely dominated Syracuse. And if you remember Syracuse, they were a team that was in this top 25 for quite some time, uh, a couple consecutive weeks, because they were playing really, really good football. Uh, however, Florida State uh, absolutely tromples them uh, when, when they did go into Syracuse. So a lot of credit to Florida State and what they were able to do there. Uh, K-State picks up the huge win against Baylor. If you remember from last year, Baylor, your Big 12 champions k-state once again putting together a nice nice season deuce Vaughn is the heartbeat of that offense uh k-state's absolutely rolling now we got notre dame they pick up the close victory against navy navy kept it close though they were very 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 much in this game uh notre dame is starting to pick up some steam here um at, at this point in the season they they've been so up and down it's, it's been hard to truly pinpoint what notre dame truly is at this point in the year uh, the next grouping up a little bit higher here is when it starts to get interesting because now we have UCF, UCLA, Washington. Now let's talk about, you know, UCF gets the big win on the road against Tulane. Uh, but the bigger game here is UCLA dropping a surprising game at home to Arizona. To a lot of people's surprise, people thought UCLA was going to, you know, absolutely run away with this one. But Arizona just kept, you know, kept working it, kept working it. Um, end up winning that football game. UCLA, that was a, a very, very tough loss to swallow. Considering now they dropped seven spots, they're all the way down at 16. It took so much for them to get to this point in the season to be ranked that high. And then all of a sudden, you know, dropping a game that they really felt they should have won. Uh, it's going to be a tough pill to swallow, you know, for the Bruins. However, they're going to have to try to bounce back and figure things out. But speaking on another team that we haven't talked about hardly at all this season, that's been Washington. The 8-2 and two Huskies picking up the big win against Oregon. 37-34. Once again, this is not what people were expecting. Um, you know, a couple of key fourth down plays. This is a really, really good one to watch. They jumped nine spots in these rankings. Nine spots. Um, absolute madness here. You look at Washington, they've been playing some good football as of late. Obviously, that game against Oregon is a huge tipping point in their season. It's a big one to put on the resume. And moving forward, now Washington is truly on our radar. Uh, the next grouping here, uh, a couple of teams that took some L's this week. You got Ole Miss. They dropped three spots with the loss to Alabama, six-point loss. Lane Kiffin's just not able to figure it out here against Nick Saban. Uh, they, they, the Rebels aren't able to get the job done. Um, once again, one of the highly touted matchups of the weekend, and that one did not disappoint in terms of excitement level. North Carolina, 9-1 and one football here. They beat Wake Forest on the road. Wake Forest is a really good team. Um, let, let's not get that twisted. Uh, a team that was consistently ranked at the start of the year, uh, you know, towards the top. They were a near top 10 level team. Um, Wake Forest. Drops a close one here to North Carolina. Josh Downs had a huge game for, uh, you know, the Tar Heels. Uh, tough, you know, tough, tough game for, for Wake Forest to lose. But now, once again, North Carolina continues to climb. But on that polar end of that, we look at Oregon. Ah, oh, this this one stinks for them. This one stinks. Dropping 12 spots, or excuse me, dropping six spots down to number 12. Oregon not able to get the job done at home 
against the Pac-12 rival Washington Huskies. Uh, it, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate because a lot of people had some optimism that, you know, Oregon had essentially a pathway of getting into the CFP, uh, you know, if they just were able to close down that that Pac-12, um, win some of those key games, they definitely could have been uh, in that conversation considering where they were last week. They had positioned themselves so well. Now at number 11, we got Penn State, another, you know, big riser here, getting the win against Maryland. And Penn State continues to to win games in convincing fashion. And this is the latest rendition of that. Obviously, two losses on the season for Penn State. But once again, I, I think this is a program, you know, in that in that Big Ten East that needs to get a little more, you know, talked about because we talk a lot about Ohio State. We talk a lot about Michigan, but Penn State's a good team in their own right. It's very tough to go into Penn State and get a win. Um, very, very, um, you know, tough team. Now, looking at number 10, we have Utah. And Utah, after picking up some early losses in the season, they were not in this conversation, uh, you know, highly ranked to start the season. Now they're able to work their way back all the way to number 10. Uh, they've been having to earn the respect back of the voters, pick up the huge win against Stanford in very, very convincing fashion. Follow that up with Clemson here. Um, you know, dropping last week, but you know, recovering nicely this week. A good win against Louisville. They jumped three spots here. They're sitting at nine and one on the season. I know some teams are thinking that you know Clemson should be ranked lower. Um, let me know in the comment section below where, if you feel they got that one right. Now you have Alabama, the, the two loss Alabama. People do have some issues with um, you know, if this were another program, they would be ranked lower. Um, however, they do get a nice statement win against a, a tough competitive Ole Miss team on the road. USC, USC here uh, picks up a huge win against a, a bad Colorado team. Colorado struggled all season long. USC gets the job done. This is exactly what they needed to do. They needed to dominate this football, and they did. Took care of business here. Um, and, you know, honestly, it's kind of tough because I was hoping to see USC and Oregon, you know, really, really fight for it down the stretch. USC's got a one-game advantage now. Number six, we have LSU. Surprisingly, LSU is six, and this might ruffle the, the feathers of college football fans, to be honest with you. Um, LSU picks up a close win against Arkansas, uh, a, a game where they were struggling so bad offensively. But, uh, you know, you look at Harold Perkins' day individually, the, the freshman was outstanding at that linebacker spot, was all over the field, made some big key plays uh, for the Tigers. Pick up the road, the win on the road against Arkansas. You know, decent team in their own right, but, you know, LSU, I think people are not going to like them being this high. I think there will be some issues with that, but you look at some of their marquee signature wins against Ole Miss and Alabama, that's enough to go ahead and, you know, put them in this conversation. Number five is Tennessee. Tennessee absolutely whooped up on Missouri, 66-24. Hendon Hooker was awesome in this game. Uh, and once again, we, we see why Tennessee was so highly ranked is because they can do this against um, you know, obviously teams like Missouri, which that's not a huge, huge deal, but the, the, the fashion that they win some of these games and their offense is, is so tough to stop. So once again, Tennessee at five, followed that up with TCU at four, people are going to have problems with this because of the 10 and all record. People are going to say, well, how come, you know, they just beat a, a good Texas team. Why are they not getting more respect? That is going to be a main topic of conversation. This TCU team is good. They are very, very good. Um, and now you have to wonder what this Big 12 championship is going to look like. And that's going to be a nice deciding factor to see if they can hang around and potentially be in that CFP. Let's not forget, this is kind of the Cinderella story that we've seen last year with Cincinnati. TCU is kind of unfolding the same way. Now at number three, we have Michigan. Michigan destroyed Nebraska, took care of things on the ground like they always do. Michigan rightfully sitting here at 10 and 0. Uh, but the Big Ten looking pretty good in that one. Following that up, we have Ohio State. Ohio State here is, um, you know, I, I I think some people have some issues with this. They some people believe Michigan should be higher. Some people are Ohio State should be higher. Uh, once again, they they both are ten and zero. But it, it, there's going to be a bigger true test later on in the season. Um, I, I just think that when we see a head to head with these guys, uh, that's going to be a nice determining factor. And then finally, number one is Georgia. Georgia has been pretty consistent here. Pick up a huge win against Mississippi State in convincing fashion. All three of these teams did what they needed to do against lesser opponents, Nebraska, Indiana. 
Uh, Mississippi State's probably the best opponent that any of these teams have faced this week. Um, and Georgia absolutely dominated once again. This offense is starting to get into rhythm. Um, you can tell Set- Sets and Bennett's once again feeling good, feeling confident. And this is your top three. Uh, you know, I, I think it's tough because there, there's an argument to be had here for all of these teams potentially being number one with what we've seen. Um, Michigan, once again, uh, is I, I think people have some problems with them being three. They would they would like to see him two. That's a good question. That that's a tough one to decide. But once again, a head to head would really you know provide some clarity for these rankings. Thanks again for stopping by. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Also, leave a like on today's video if you did enjoy the content. So thanks again, and we will catch you in the very next Utility Sports video.